Okay, good morning everybody and welcome to ApacheCon North America 2013. Very happy to have you all here. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Steve Holden and my company, The Open Bastion, was selected by the Apache Software Foundation uh, to run ApacheCon North America this year. And I'm very happy to say that we've, we've to, to report that we've brought you to Portland uh, a place where I myself have lived for the past two years. Well, I say I've lived in Portland for the past two years, but in actual fact, until fairly recently, my life was typically three weeks at home, five weeks away, three weeks at home, two weeks away, a week at home, four weeks away. So although I have actually formally resided in Portland for two years, I only actually spent about a year of it in Portland. So having arrived back from uh, a fairly lengthy trip over the Christmas period, I'm now in the middle of a luxurious eight weeks uninterrupted stay in Portland, and it, it's reminded me what a fabulous place Portland is to live. It's also, by the way, a very good place to work in open source, and you're probably aware, if you've read your program introduction, that Portland builds itself as the open source capital of the USA. I'm not sure whether anybody else agrees with that billing, but certainly nobody disagrees. And uh, Portland is making a name for itself as a great place to be for open source. So not only this year do we have um, ApacheCon this year, but also the uh, OpenStack people are having their conference here. OSCON's coming here again. There are more and more open source conferences coming to Portland. So um, thank you for coming. And we really do hope that you have a, a wonderful time. As you might deduce from... Uh, my jacket here, I'm, I'm an SKP from the Python world. Uh, most of my recent open source contributions have been to the Python world, and so <clears throat> for me, the Apache world is, is a slightly strange world. Um, thanks to the foundation, the Open Bastion had the opportunity to help with the organization of ApacheCon Europe towards the end of last year in Sinsheim in Germany. And I had the good fortune uh, to meet a, a very large number of people from the Apache community uh, during that week that we had in Germany. It was a wonderful time. Never had a conference in a, a football stadium before. And while it might not seem like an ideal venue, uh, people did seem to like it, had an excellent time. And uh, so as far as I'm concerned, it, it's good to be back with the Apache community uh, again and to see at least some faces who've been able to make the trip, uh, either made the trip from, from America to Europe last November and are now here, or have come over uh, from Europe. So thanks for coming. But I'm aware that Python isn't uh, perhaps as much used in the Apache world as, as Java is, for example. I know Java is one of your uh, big languages, and I have to confess that I, I did once write a blog whose title was Java is Object-Oriented COBOL. <laughs> and a lot of people didn't seem to notice uh, that the publication date was the 1st of April. So I did actually have some rather interesting dialogues uh, around, that, <laughs> around that post. And um, so the, you know, the, the, the Python versus Java thing, the this versus that, so often in the world of open source, particularly in the world of competitive and proprietary products, but even in the world of open source, uh, we do get our, our this versus that uh, controversies. And the Apache Software Foundation is somewhat unusual, really, in that it's, it's actually a unifying body of sorts. Um, I was struck when I had to make my assessment of the Apache Software Foundation as a, as a potential customer, I was struck by the fact that I, I cannot think of a single software vendor that has anywhere near the product range that you would get from, from the Apache Software Foundation. Nobody else, it seems to me, is managing such a diverse group of projects and one of the interesting things that I've noticed about the Apache community when it gets together is that a lot of the talk focuses on how these technologies can be better integrated. And so I think that the 
Apache Software Foundation is the, the oldest established software foundation, is, is actually teaching people some very valuable lessons. And you may notice that, that there's actually uh, a kind of a theme through the keynotes uh, this week. We're really trying to emphasize the, the idea of community and to get the Apache software community itself uh, to focus on itself. And I know a number of people have suggested that uh, it might have been a different conference had we not, for example, been scheduled against another conference whose topics are big data in the cloud. But I think that's going to make this a very interesting conference because it means that the people who are here this week are the people who will come to ApacheCon no matter what else is competing with it. So I see you as a very significant uh, and a very important bunch of people. So, it takes a lot of effort from various people to put a conference together. And I'd particularly like you to, to put your hands together and thank our sponsors and our exhibitors without whom the conference wouldn't be possible. So Citrix and all the others, thank you very much for supporting Apache Con. So in the program, it wasn't easy to put the program together, and I did have a lot of help. And so for everyone who worked hard on the reviewers team, thank you very much for helping us to put this program together. You may notice um, that, that there are what seem to be holes in the program, bits of content, uh, content that we should perhaps have included that we, we didn't. And uh, we're certainly prepared to accept input on that. Anything uh, that you think we could or might do to improve the conference, please let us know. Uh, any ideas to the registration desk, they will not be filed to DevNull. We'll listen to them and hopefully try and, uh, and action them as well. One thing I did notice that uh, we don't have in the conference or we don't seem to have in the program is testing. And that's, that's a subject near and dear to my heart because I think the, the second or third job I had uh, as a commercial programmer involved uh, working for, a, I was working at the time for a company that uh, was in the fascinating business of renting out scaffolding. So you can imagine they had 52 branches up and down the UK. And so uh, it fell to me to write the program that wrote the report uh, which was the report of all the movements. So this is back in the old days, of course, of, of line printers and screened listings. So uh, we were producing a 300-page listing about all the interbranch movements of the various pieces of scaffolding and so on and so forth. So it was a, a fairly primitive but nevertheless effective uh, control system. And so the systems analyst and I decided that it would be a nice little um, piece of humanization, if you like, uh, to put a little addition into the program after, after testing was over, of course, so that it, it, it wasn't actually formally tested, uh, so that uh, an extra line came out in the headings in week 50 that read, and a Merry Christmas to all our readers from Steve Holden and Andy Partridge. Andy was the, the systems analyst. So this was all very well and good, and uh, job mobility being what it was at the time, I actually left uh, Mills Scaffolding before Christmas uh, and thought no more about this until about a year later when I met one of my former colleagues in a, in a data center and talk fell to what, what had been going on at Mills Scaffold and he said, oh, don't ever go back there. I said, why not? He said, well, the chief programmer will skin you. You know that 300-page report that you wrote? I said, yeah, the stock movement report. He said, well, the week before Christmas, uh, it wasn't a 300-page report, it was a 600-page report, and every other line in the report read, and a Merry Christmas to all our readers from Steve Holden and, and Andy Partridge. So I'm very, very aware of the need for testing. I'm, I'm sorry that we, we missed that out of the program, but uh, as I say, if there are any other holes, we'll, uh, we'll do what, I can, what we can to make sure that uh, we feed that forward to the next conference. 